this video we're going to make a homopolar electric motor. Um, I'm gonna go mostly practical and very light on theory, but I'll give you guys a very quick explanation of what a homopolar motor actually does. So you have, you're gonna have a battery standing on a stack of magnets and it's gonna have a wire that goes and touches these magnets and the wire will essentially spin around. So what effectively is going to go on is that you have a stack of magnets that look like this and say in blue we could draw a magnetic field going from north to south and it looks like a torus. A torus is, I don't know, the shape of a lot of things in nature. It's the shape of an apple. It's the shape of a, I suppose a donut would be even closer. So you have this going around 360 degrees around this magnet. And then you're also going to have this wire. Now this wire is going to go across and touch this. Say, and if you have heard of the right hand rule, the direction of the magnetic fields and the wire are going to essentially be spinning this way. So it'll be like whew, arrows. Actually, the other way around. But, so, you have these two fields, one generated by a current flowing through a copper wire, and the other basically a permanent field um, coming out of a stack of these magnets. And at any moment in time, this wire is going to have an overall push in one direction or pull in the other. And essentially, it'll keep on turning. And so long as the current flows in the wire, you're going to have that element spinning. Um, that's enough for the theory. Let's build it. All right. So, I don't know. I'm going to go with six, seven of these little button magnets. And I'll take some measurements. So I'll put up a 1.5 volt battery. And we'll see how tall that is. So it's about six and a half centimeters. So I might as well even I might as well draw um, the shape that I want for my and then kind of trace it on. So if I was going to create an element, it's gonna be about that tall. Maybe less wide, maybe more wide, but then it would go. Get the wire to do that. And it's about that length. So. slightly above it. Alrighty, oh, we have a shape, and if we can bend some copper wire into this shape, we're gonna try using two thicknesses, um, and if we can then make a little dent in the button of the battery, we'll have a pretty good chance of getting this homopolar motor to work. So let's try bending some wire. First, we're gonna use, we've got two thicknesses, one is 1.25 mil and the other is 0.8 so if we take that 0.8 first take a length that's definitely sufficient and we try to follow around this curve
Alright, so here it is. The angles are not quite perfect, but um, might just do. What you want to do is make sure that there's no laminate on the very tip, because that's going to conduct some electricity, so definitely soak it into some flame. Yeah, that should more than do it. Um, and also the ends. Now the wire can get hot and will smoke a little bit. I have yet to trip a fire alarm with this, but... You really may not want to do that. Now also, if you can find some... Um, some sandpaper it'll be good to finish it off with some sandpaper so here we are our wire is bent roughly into an ideal shape the um, ends which are going to conduct electricity through this battery have been burnt and stripped um, we're gonna just try to put that there and that on it and maybe fiddle with it until it balances but it should get some force and some kick oh oh alright um that is a working motor but it's not working the way I intended it so we're gonna try to fix it Try two, we put down a little bit of a metal stage that's gonna just improve the balance a little bit. And hopefully, maybe these were looser. Hmm. We could potentially curl these guys back and create a, cer a sort of lock um, onto the like that onto the um, magnets we'll see if this is gonna work and bravo! homopolar electric motor the 0.8 millimeter wire worked wonderfully. Enjoy. And here's a bit of a, a bonus design. You can sort of shave the ends of both ends like last time and design a spiral that can kind of house a battery. Um, I'm going to try this upside down because I think balance is going to be our main problem here anyway. Okay, so I need to squash it a tad. And, uh, 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 oh. And there we go, we're on fire. We're building homopolar motors like no tomorrow. All right, on the second go. Your turn to build it, and we'll catch you later.